The anamorphic plugin available with Dashwood Editor Essentials lets you use footage that was shot with anamorphic lenses and properly format it for your sequence. Now today I'm using Premiere Pro, but it works just as well in After Effects, Final Cut Pro, and Motion. So let's take a look here. Now in this example, this represents footage that was shot anamorphically with a 2x lens on a 16x9 sensor. Now what we'll do is apply the anamorphic plugin. And the anamorphic plugin defaults to a two times anamorphically squeezed lens. However, it is compatible with other lenses, for example, uh, Sentry Optics or Panasonic uh, 1.33x lenses, and some other lenses um, that have been manufactured through the years. So we'll leave it on 2x. Now you'll see that uh, to get our 239 aspect ratio, we have to crop off these extra areas. So we actually need to scale up. So because this was shot on a 16 by 9 sensor, we'll choose 239 scope from a 16 by 9 sensor. And the plugin automatically uh, scales up. Now we could have also chosen a custom scale. And when we choose a custom scale, we see this uh, custom scale option pop up, and then we can scale it ourselves. So this is useful if you want a different aspect ratio out of your anamorphic. So let's say we wanted um, an even bigger aspect ratio, then we wouldn't scale it up quite as much. So let's look at Airy Alexa footage shot with a 4x3 sensor on the Alexa Studio or the Alexa M. So here's an example shot in 2K, and when I first put it in my sequence, it defaults to showing me the whole thing in my 1920 by 1080 sequence, even though the source file, let's just have a look here, is 2048 by 1536. Now, this is very important. What we want to do is control click or right click on the clip itself, and we want to turn off scale to frame size. There we go. So now it's being shown in its true size. Uh, we also have a, um, an Airy Raw version of this right here, and it also has scale to frame size turned off. So we're going to convert both of these. Now, uh, this option for scale to frame size in Premiere Pro, in the preferences, you can leave it turned off so that when you import your footage, uh, default to scale to frame size is off by default. Now, if you're working over in Final Cut Pro 10, the equivalent of this is to go down to Spatial Conform for your clip and select None. And that will scale the clip up to its correct size. Now, we have to do this so that the plugin understands how to crop and scale the clip. It's a little trickier in Final Cut Pro 7. Even though in the user preferences for Final Cut Pro 7, in the Editing tab, if you uh, set Auto Conform Sequence to Never and turn off Always Scale Clips to Sequence Size, it still tends to scale down clips that are bigger than the sequence. So in my case, I have a 1920 by 1080 sequence here, and uh, I'm going to insert this 2K 4x3 Alexa clip into it, and you can see it scaled down. So now what I have to do for this clip is I can right click on it and remove attributes. So now we remove basic motion and also remove distort if that's applicable. And now we can just apply the anamorphic plugin. There we go. So I'm just going to go back to Premiere Pro and have a look at what happens when we apply the plugin. So we'll put the anamorphic plugin on here. Now, once again, it defaults to 2x. Uh, this time, we, we still need to scale up a tiny bit because the 4x3 sensor on the Alexa still has a little extra space here that we, we don't need for a true 2, 3, 9 to 1 aspect ratio. So we'll tell the plugin that uh, we were shooting with an Alexa Studio. And then it uh, just scales it up a tiny bit. And we'll do the same thing here with our Airy Raw version. Now on the Airy Raw version, we'll 
select the scale, it actually scales it down because the frame size uh, of 2880 wide is so much wider than 1920. For this scale to calculate properly, we have to manually tell the plugin how wide our sequence is because the plugin can't tell um, how wide the sequence is. So uh, at the moment, I have 1920 set. But if, if you're working in a 2K sequence, then you would select 2048. If you wanted to work in an airy raw sequence, then you would select 2880 and so on. So let's just put this back to 1920. And now let's try it on some real footage. So here's some Alexa 2K footage. And obviously, it's anamorphic because these round wheels are oval shaped. So we'll add the anamorphic plugin onto our footage. It defaults to two times. We'll uh, set it to Alexa 4x3. And there we go. Now we have our dailies in a 1920x1080 sequence. And the anamorphic 4x3 from the Alexa has been uh, modified appropriately.